हेलो एवरी वन माय नेम इज ओम रविंद्र शेट्टी अँड आय एम द स्टुडंट ऑफ फायनल इयर इन सिव्हिल इंजिनिअरिंग अँड डॉक्टर बाबासाहेब आंबेडकर टेक्नॉलॉजिकल युनिव्हर्सिटी युनिव्हर्सिटी आय कम्प्लीट माय ट्रेनिंग अंडर द गायडन्स ऑफ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर अनिरुद्ध चव्हाण सर माय प्रेझेंटेशन टॉपिक इज रेसिडेन्शियल बिल्डिंग कन्स्ट्रक्शन आय कम्प्लिटेड माय ट्रेनिंग ॲट मंगल मूर्ती कन्स्ट्रक्शन अँड डेव्हलपर्स द कॉन्ट्रॅक्टर नेम इज मिस्टर महेश अरविंद अडसूर and the site location is for us sindhudurg our building type is a frame structure so basically what is frame structure a frame structure is a combination of beam column and slab in frame structure there are two types of the load firstly dead load and second is live load the dead load is a self load of the structure and the live load is just like human load chair load table load etc there are the various advantages of the frame structure frame structure can built rapidly multi story construction building can possible due to lack of the load bearing walls there are the partition walls provided in frame structure due to which the floor space area is in increase frame structure have high level of rigidity and stability this is the design of uh, our site building there are the various steps in construction of frame structure the first step is site clearance before construction before of starting of any construction work it is uh, become necessary to clean the place from unwanted grass boulders and to become it level for marking of the layouts the second step is construction of approach road this road is prepared for easily accessible to at site there are the various trucks dumper raw materials are provided from main road to the site for which we are uh, constructed the approach road third step is line out the layout has been marked on the actual ground that process called as line out the fourth step is excavation and ppc the foundation is the lowermost part of the structure which transport the load toward the soil in this foundation trench a layer of pcc is laid down before a placement of the reinforcement in the foundation foundation a foundation is a lower portion of the building structure that transport the load toward the subsoil properly the building is entirely supported on the foundation and it is the one of the most important part in a structure plinth beam a plinth beam is a component of the superstructure located between the ground level and floor level to assist the transporting the load of the structure to the foundation after the foundation work is done the formwork of the beam is uh, prepared and it poured with the concrete over the plinth beam major work is started at the top of the plinth beam a, da- a damp proof force is provided to restrict the entry of the moisture into the structure this is the formwork of the plinth beam the inside the formwork there is a placement of the reinforcement as see you in the picture superstructure superstructure is a portion above the plinth level of the building it consists of columns slab beam door window etc column the column is a vertical member of the structure column take the load from the beam and transfer it to the footing beam beam is a horizontal member which transfer the load from the slab to the column it is one of the most important member of the structure masonry wall as the column and beam framework is completed the masonry wall the lateral stone has been started masonry work is done using a cement mortar mix it is a mixture of cement and sand slab now formwork for slab is started after completing the formwork the reinforcement bars for beam and slab are placed as per the structure of building after completing the reinforcement work the electric pipes are provided and the reinforcement and the slab is poured with the concrete and uh, after pouring of concrete it will be cure for uh, at least 28 days electrical and plumbing 
After completion, the manager work grooves are made on the walls to install the electric conduit and plumbing pipes as per the electrical and plumbing drawing. They are installed in the walls such that they are not visible after finishing work is done. It means that uh, for the good aesthetic appearance, finishing work is done and this uh, piping is not visible to the eyes. Doors and window frame. After completing, after completing the electrical conduit and plumbing pipes, the fixing work of the doors and window are to be done. Internal plastering work. Plastering work can commerce after the initial lighting and electrical plumbing work has been completed. The cement plaster mix uh, are used for plastering work. 12 in thickness or sometimes 20 in thickness cement uh, concrete cement uh, mortar is used. Plastering makes the building strong and durable along with the weather and it gives the attractive look to the building. External plaster work. After this work is completed, outside plastering and finishing work is started. Waterproofing can be also done to prevent and rising the dampness from the wall and it increases the life of the structure. Flooring and kitchen platform. The tiles are fixed on the floors and toilet walls. Uh, the tiles are fixed on the toilet wall. This is called as dado. The kitchen platform work is also completed at this stage. While selecting the flooring materials, various parameters we have to consider, such as durability, permeability, wear and tear. After uh, the two coats of the putti, the flooring work has been started. Painting work. The most important purpose of house painting is to give house a long life and adding colors to it to give our houses a beautiful makeover. The painting work not only adds a color to house wall but protect their house from all dirts and give their house a long life. A paint increases uh, generally 5 to 10 year, years of extra life to the building. Various material used during construction such as fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, cement, steel, water, lateral stone, admixture. Fine aggregate. The fine aggregate are used mostly for making the concrete or and PCC. The most common use of fine aggregate, the main source of the fine aggregate is river sand. Manufactured sand is also now available. Coarse aggregate. Coarse aggregate are also the most commonly used building material in the construction in the industry. Aggregate are mainly used in manufacture of concrete. Aggregate gives volume to the concrete and make it economical. Cement. Cement is one of the most widely used building material in the construction industry. It is used as a binder to bind sand and coarse aggregate with each other. Cement used in construction for making mortar and concrete. There are various types of the cement available in the market such as low edge cement, high strength cement, etc. Steel. Steel is the most important in RCC structure. Steel is used as a reinforcement to increase the tensile strength of the concrete. Steel is durable and can withstand high external pressure such as earthquake, thunderstorm and cyclone. On site, we use a mostly High steel reform bars and mild steel. Water. Water, you know, water is one of the most important elements in construction and it is required for the preparation of mortar and mixing of cement concrete and for curing also. Generally, the potable water is used for use in building construction for preparation of concrete and for curing purpose. Lateral stone. The lateral stone are available in large quantity in coker region. Therefore, lateral stone is used for construction of walls. Due to high temperature and high monsoon in coker region, there is a laterite stone will be formed. Laterite keep the building cool in the summer season because they are queries from natural stone. Lateral stone is environment friendly and they do not emit the carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases. So laterite is an eco-friendly material. Admixture. 
admixture is an optional component uh, of concrete that is added to modify certain properties of the concrete and to improve its performance and improve the life of the structure. Waterproofing like uh, Dr. Fixit are used as a in roof and floors for waterproofing purpose. Various equipments and small machinery used in the construction. There are various uh, numbers of the equipment used in the construction, such as plumb bob, chisel, vibrator, concrete mixer, tape, spirit level, floors, measuring box, and wheelbarrow. The most important is safety measures at construction site. Before starting any construction work, give training to the workers. Every worker should wear the personal product to equipment. First aid kits should be readily available at construction site. Every construction worker should get proper safety training before construction work start. Be attentive when working with electricity and equipment. No corroding should be at site. All safety signs should be clearly visible at construction site. Conclusion We concluded that there is a difference between the theoretical and practical knowledge. As the scope of understanding will much more in practical knowledge. As you get more knowledge in, the, in such situation where we have great experience doing the practical work. I have learned a lot of things uh, on site that cannot be found in your engineering book. A lot of equipment tool and complicated uh, techniques that we study in our curriculum or syllabus, syllabus. Uh, these all things we are using on actual site during construction process. I understand the basic things in slab construction. I see the actual environment on the construction site and most importantly the coordination of the labors during concrete placement is fabulous. I see the awareness of the safety on the site and understanding safely the problems and site condition. This internship is very helpful for me for my understanding of task on construction site and which is uh, helpful for my future. Okay, thank you.